Hi there. Let's talk about Mayor Greenberg and Louisville Police and the most important asset that they have now lost. A while back, the corporation I worked for brought in an outside training company to do some leadership training. The name of the outside company was Conversant, and their training was excellent. A number of their concepts and teachings have stayed with me uh, all this time, and one of those was their teaching about trust. In fact, I thought it was so good that I pulled out the slide from the training and I wanted to share it with you. Trust is that condition where satisfaction and coordinated high achievement are present and suspicion and worry are absent. Where suspicion and worry are absent. Trust is built through meeting expectations, both conscious and subconscious, spoken and unspoken. Regularly met expectations increase trust. They make deposits into your trust bank. Failed expectations damage trust. They make withdrawals from your trust bank. And an empty account at the trust bank is a bad thing. We know for a long time that there have been issues within Louisville's police department. In fact, the Department of Justice came and did a study, did an investigation, and the city wound up signing a consent decree with the Department of Justice about our police department. It's long been said that they target black people and poor people and homeless people, and the Department of Justice found that that was true. They also said that there was a lack of training, there was a lack of leadership, so on and so forth. I don't need to rehash the whole thing. But two things have happened recently that need to be discussed. One, of course, was the arrest of the number one golfer in the world at the PGA uh, Championship out at Valhalla. It was an unfortunate situation. There was a pedestrian who was a worker at the uh, tournament who was struck and killed, and that's horrible in and of itself. And then there was all this confusion about the traffic and so on and so forth. Okay, I get all that. And, you know... If Scheffler, if the golfer was not obeying the police, then that's a problem and, you know, they need to deal with it. I get that. But there was no body cam. The body cam wasn't turned on. There was some video from some cameras like across the street, sort of security cameras, not very clear, not very helpful. But... The chief of police and the mayor held a press conference, refused to answer any questions, said there might be more video and more evidence, but they weren't going to release it yet because the process was ongoing. And then, about the same time, we find out that they asked the University of Louisville to do a study of the police department and of the police department's interactions with blacks and poor and homeless and people like that in the city. And they did the study. And then because the uh, mayor wanted to release the study himself, he wanted to co-announce the release of the study. Well, for some reason, the university decided, no, it's research. It's our research. We get to control what is said about it. So we're going to release it. And they did. And it made the, the mayor very angry. And I think it's fascinating that he wasn't angry about the findings. He was angry about the fact that it was released without him being able to put a spin on it. The report showed that the police relationship with the city, particularly with the black citizens of the city, has been bad not for a few years, not even for a decade, but almost since its inception. And it merely confirmed what many people felt about Louisville police and the way it handles its relationship to the city. But here's the thing. The mayor and the chief of police already had a trust problem. They had a trust problem with the citizens. They had a trust problem with the media. They had a trust problem with other leaders. And the way you build up trust 
is by meeting expectations and being transparent. And the way you harm trust, as the slide said, is you fail to meet expectations. And remember the end of the definition. Trust is where suspicion and worry are absent. Well, I have to tell you that I think suspicion and worry are very present right now when it comes to Louisvillians thinking about their mayor and their police. Here we have a study that says there are serious problems even beyond what the Department of Justice found. And yet the thing the mayor is upset about is the fact that the report was released. Any leader who wanted to build up trust would have come into a press conference and said, this is a damning report. This is horrible. We should not put up with this. We will not put up with this. And if I have to fire everybody in leadership at the police department, I will do so. But we have to fix this. But instead, it's stonewalling and silence. And if you want that, you'd better file a public records request and we might get back to you in a few months. The mayor and the police have squandered their most important asset which is the trust of the citizens of Louisville. Joe Girth in the Courier-Journal said that this is so bad that apparently Mayor Greenberg is not the person to fix it. I suspect he's right. I suspect that at this point, no matter what Greenberg or the police do, the trust is almost irretrievably broken. It's going to take years of effort to rebuild trust. And if somebody doesn't start now, it's just going to put off those years of effort. We need to have leaders and police that we trust. And right now, we don't.